Good morning. This is Bobby Dupre with the Bobby Dupre Show, presented to you each Thursday morning at 7 a.m. And, uh, of course, uh, we uh, air in this program uh, pre-taped, pre-taped on Wednesday morning, like we try to remind you every week. And uh, I have my sidekick here, Mr. Matt LeBlanc. He's uh, the new sidekick. And uh, by the way, uh, I want to pass on some good words. Uh, my former sidekick for many years, Andrew Gitros, is uh, very uh, happy and uh, very busy on his new job over at Ta Kerrville Toyota mm -hmm. in Opelousas, Louisiana. So all the best so, to Andrew. All the best to Andrew and his family. And, uh, of course, uh, you can uh, watch the program at 7 a.m. on your cable uh, services. Uh, all your old time antenna uh, and uh, of course on uh, Sunday afternoon it replays on the cable company uh, units at 3 p.m. and that's a big big viewership uh, mm -hmm. surprising how many people sure uh, wake up a little late on uh, <laughs> Thursday morning at 7 a.m. and uh, uh, wide awake at 3 p.m. and they'll cut off some of the Saints football game to watch the Bobby Dupre oh, show <laughs> that's what they tell me and I have to believe them because I want them to believe everything we say about them over here because we don't get into any controversies we uh, ha have had no problems about controversy. We try to bring you good things about people and the community and my travels, I guess, would kind of... Your travels, all right. That's, a, a lot of it. And uh, we, it we have a young guest with us. Uh, this is, uh, she's not expecting uh, me to mention her. Uh, she's sitting, uh, I guess, what, you interning on this particular portion, although you're working with Delta Media, is that right? And uh, I'm speaking here to Adrian Clark, and she'll be uh, out uh, in Acadiana uh, selling advertising for radio ads. And a uh, beautiful young girl, just a recent uh, graduate, December graduate, uh, December 2014th at UL. And uh, she left McNeese State uh, over in Lake Charles, where she's from. I, I, I'm just putting in a plug for UL because uh, that was my old alma mater, SLI. I surprised her today. Well, I, was, I want y'all to. We got three generations of that. I'm <laughs> USL, you're SLI, and she's UL. So. UL, we have all of them. And, and we mix well together. And uh, thank you very much for, for agreeing to sit in. And, and uh, we hope that uh, you see there's all kind of different ways of making a living. And uh, I made my living before I did this, but I did it the same way. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, 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 I sold, I was a salesman, uh, and this is what I'm doing here. I'm trying to sell good news because there, there are people that want good news, and that's what we try to bring on. Matt and I try to bring only good news, and the first good news we have to go to is our sponsors, well, okay. and we want to get the uh, Dixie, uh, the Dixie in, storage in, picture. Dixie storage picture, and uh, we have Miss uh, Joy uh, okay. Doucette's give wife, Miss Bridget. I got to find the Bobby. Let's Bobby went picture crazy this week. He took a whole bunch of pictures, so I'm scrolling through them to find. And this was the one, he one for last week. We didn't get to that. wasn't red. No, it's a red uh, dress. Down it. Oh shucks. There, she's coming up right here. I tell you what, we may have to pull her up in the next one because I've got a do something on it uh, oh, oh, to okay. flip it around. All right, we'll, we'll do it on the next one. We'll, okay. we'll do that one on the next one. So for this segment right here, let's talk about Piggly Wiggly. Kevin Doucette, Joey Quibido over uh, in Opelousas. I've got two locations in Opelousas. Uh, fine, fine meat department. Great, uh, great grocery store. I love going to Piggly Wiggly. That's where we bought uh, our all your pork steaks. Pork steaks. Yeah, uh, for your, for your they mama. were all seasoned and picked them up uh, Monday afternoon and put them in the ice cool and cooked them up cooked everything up yesterday afternoon you can't beat piggly wiggly's meat department that is hands down price wise daily. quality wise absolutely. they can't be beat absolutely Oplus has two locations and simsport if you're on the north end up there so okay uh, let's one also one. talk about steamboat warehouse restaurant our good friend jason hugay down uh, down there, the chef owner of the Steamboat Warehouse, and I sure hope you got out there to the Steamboat uh, Warehouse for Valentine's Day and took your significant other for a Valentine's Day dinner uh, or supper or lunch at Steamboat Warehouse. Uh, 
because you definitely no would lunch. have scored some points. That's right, no lunch. No lunch. Right. But you definitely would have scored some points for that because uh, the Steamboat is phenomenal as far as atmosphere and as far as menu selection. I found so. that out again this yes. weekend. I mentioned it, and uh, by and large, the, the people in the, uh, Acadiana uh, really, really use uh, the services that they they serve there. Uh, and uh, Adrian, that would be a good place for maybe uh, some young man to take you out <laughs> and have a nice dinner. It's a beautiful place and you probably see some of the people mm -hmm. that you calling on here to sell them radio ads. You might do that and you might meet Jason and sell him a radio ad. There you go. Jason, and watch tell out. Him, Adrian's coming for you. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's get into some pictures. Uh, the, sure. You didn't get a chance yet to flip yeah, that picture. Start right here. And we've got this. I see that's that Mr. Was, Earl uh, Taylor. I think that was last Wednesday night uh, over at Harold Taylor's uh, lovely uh, home on Three Mile Lake. Mm -hmm. I see and Paul uh, Mouton there. Paul, well, on the left is uh, Richie Hike, uh, federal judge uh, Richard Hike's uh, young oh, son, yeah. who's an attorney with the Morrow Morrow um, Gates. Uh, Oh, the full names. Full Morrow, name. Morrow, Gates. Ga and no, not Gates not anymore. Gates, Gates not no. there. Morrow, Morrow, uh, Ryan. And Bassett. And Bassett, there right. Okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Sorry about that, Pat and company. And uh, this is Earl Taylor on the left. This is Miss uh, Angus, uh, Gloria Angus, a young mm -hmm. attorney in Opelousas. And of course, our newly elected chief of police for the city of Opelousas. DT. DT, Donald Thompson. Donald Thompson from Port Barry, Louisiana. And, Good guy. Uh, yes, sir. And he, he's proud to say he's from Port Barry, like I'm proud to say I'm from Plaisance. That's right. That's right. And uh, this is a state representative on the right, uh, Mr. Labar and uh, Miss Verona Wiltz uh, on the left. And uh, mm -hmm. I think they were talking maybe a little bit of business because I think he represents the Crot Springs area. In oh, fact, I'm quite okay. sure he does. Bernard Labar. Bernard Labar. Bernard Bernard Labar. Right. And sure of does. course, uh, he uh, and his family own several uh, pharmacies uh, throughout uh, Acadiana and uh, are well known in that particular light also. There you go. What you got right here? Uh, well, that's oh, my little boxing. man, uh, Brandon Arvey. And you know, I didn't see him. I thought he'd have come, and he lives in in Mamu. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's my little buddy right there. I thought he'd have come, but maybe he was, uh, he was training. training. Yeah, he's training right he now. Golden training. Gloves is coming up, <laughs> and I'm gonna find that uh, uh, dates on that. It's the end of uh, uh, March, but I'll, I'll get you the dates in a there few you minutes. Go. And, and this is a uh, windy, windy. Uh, that flag was pretty much standing out. You know when that north wind hits it like that. That's across from the Mamu Hilton, my, li my little so-called uh, apartment <laughs> that I have in Mamu, and that's the inside of it. Uh -huh. uh, I keep talking about it, and it's uh, it's neatly done. Nice and cozy. Nice and cozy. It's got a bathroom and a half, two bedrooms, and it got the nice big a metal addition on the back end mm -hmm. and uh, that uh, they had the big uh, fundraiser for the cancer uh, event uh, on Monday night uh, that's downtown beautiful little air park area that was donated by the Rotary Club and this young lady just came up and we started talking and she uh, from Mamu uh, she knows all the musicians and but she's living away from Mamu and this is her little adopted little family while she's in. That's her uh, <laughs> relatives. And uh, that's the Cajun Wall, Wall of, fame. of Fame. Cajun Wall of Fame. I read that yesterday while I was there. Mm -hmm. And of course the Hotel Kazan. 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 And of course we have a picture of the new owner somewhere in our yep. portfolio of uh, He's in here. We'll get to him. Pictures. We'll mention that but we'll uh, but this, is, okay, th this here is uh, a, a Cajun, uh, a young Cajun fella, and uh, he is, I got it right here, Greg Mouye, and uh, he is a, a banker, uh, possibly retired, but uh, I was told no, he's with J.D. Bank uh, now, mm -hmm. and uh, J.D. Bank, of course, has opened an office in the Opelousas, sure. uh, one in Lafayette, and one in New Iberia in recent months. Yeah, they're and on the move. They're on the move, and his wife is uh, Tricia. She's a school teacher, librarian, 
a prop at Vidrine High School where they go. live right in the Vidrine area. And Trisha's father, Mr. Ray Fontenot, was a coach. But before he was a coach, he was actually a boxer at SLI, my old alma there mater, you and your old alma mm, mater, sure and your whole alma mater, <laughs> all three of us. Uh, and uh, Larry Vidrine passed this in. Larry Vidrine. Larry Oye from Vidrine passed this on to him. And, of course, Larry is knows all the boxes that uh, mm -hmm. ever boxed before. And, and then uh, this is, there. yeah, they fun. She knows me on the right, and I know her and her sister. I, I named her. Anyhow, we, we uh, can't think of the name. Now, this young girl was working. Can you imagine? She's in the seventh grade at Mamu High School. Uh, not in the, she's in the seventh grade, but attends, the school is Mamu High. And she's Allison uh, Fontenot is what I, I gathered right here. Cute little girl wor mm. wor working on tables. And you know, I Getting started work working ethic young. the third grade. I started, yeah. that's when mom and daddy opened the school cafe next to T.H. Harris Vocational School in Opelousas. And uh, this young lady here heard me talking, uh, and I guess everybody in the place hears me talking. Uh, <laughs> she is uh, Meredith. And uh, the young man is uh, Michael and uh, Gilrys. And uh, she manages uh, a Bruley insurance agency. And uh, that's in Oberlin, Louisiana. And of course, I knew several of the Bruleys and we really got a good conversation on and I rode by and saw what she mentioned. Uh, we, I'll show some pictures of of uh, my little trip Sunday. But real, real nice couples oh, that we got to Vicky. visit. That's uh, m my girlfriend there on the left, Vicky, And this is Miss Shirley, uh, now Trahan, Wallace uh -huh. Trahan, the musician. That's his wife, well, beautiful sure, lady. Well, sure, I know Wallace And well. you know her too, because you're sure. always together. That's right. And, and we uh, got uh, Wild Rice up there. That's uh, Farrell Manual. They, right? were, they were getting ready to kick up, right? Uh, that was Saturday, uh, about noontime, mm -hmm. the band started. They were yeah. setting up here, and the Mamu volunteers had some good, delicious sandwiches and all, and cold drinks, and I guess a couple of beers to sell. And uh, different people, Coastal Chemical, uh, that's possibly out of uh, Abbeville. And that's uh, Tonsu. Tonsu. That's the, the queen Tonsu of the queens in, right. in Mamu. She is a legend. Uh, she is a legend. She and her late husband, Mr. Fred, uh, opened up uh, Fred's uh, back in the 20s or 30s. I think so. And uh, they got a divorce, but it was a friendly divorce, and they both continued working. And, of course, he died many years ago, and then she finally sold it, and uh, it, she's part of the institution. If, if they sure buy is. the place, they bought her, too. Oh, yeah, I and, saw her carrying around these buckets yesterday. And oh, she no, doesn't it, slow down. Oh, does not slow down. Tonsu, we love you, baby. Hmm. And then this is, a, we talked about J.D. Bank, uh, the young lady in the kind of, what is that, gray uh, uh -huh. outfit in the yeah. middle. Uh, that's Tina Vidrine. Sure. And uh, she manages the uh, Opelousas branch of mm -hmm. J.D. Bank. And uh, the band playing, and Johnny Sonier, I think, is the leader oh, of Johnny that right band in, front, in the yeah. red. And I think that's I'm, my buddy James on bass right there. I can't tell who's on drums. And, of course, I see a fiddle player in the back. All you see is his bow, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, good little band. He got a new little corner they sit in now. Oh, yeah? They, yeah, it, it gives more room the way they mm -hmm. set it up. There's Johnny. There's Johnny, but then we got a picture outside uh, yeah. with... Uh, we're going to go real quick through yeah, that. And Smitty through. came up and talked to me. He's from uh, around the Mir area, if I remember right. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, this is Bonnie, and she came up and visited with us and uh, said that she's played cards with my in-laws, uh, <laughs> Wilder and, and uh, Norma Lee and the, the group. And uh, this is a, a, a real clown. I don't know where his head is. Uh, <laughs> not sure who's in that uh, outfit, but... Uh, he was having fun, or she was having fun with us, and as Vicky having fun with them. That's what it's all about. That's what having fun. that's what Mamu's all about. And uh, look, look at the people that all those in the yellow. They all volunteers. Mm -hmm. They they helping raise money for some type of uh, benefit. That's Johnny. Johnny right here. Go ahead, Johnny. Thank you so Johnny much for Sonier. talking with us, and we reminisced a little bit about uh, Toby's Little Lodge when he played for us. And now, mm -hmm. now this is an outfit here. Now yeah. let me tell you. 
He's well, got the roosters on top, and oh, there's the, the crowd. There's the crowd. It, it, that, that was within 45 minutes. There was nobody there, and all of a sudden, it's it's packed down well, the street. There, there, there's so many Mardi Gras celebrations yep. nowadays. Everybody's kind of split up. I'll tell you what, speaking of splitting up, we got to split this segment but with the next one. So we need to take a quick little break, and when we come back, we got a couple more pictures for you, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yeah. Welcome back to the second quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show, along with my sidekick here. And uh, we, uh, of course, had the had the privilege of uh, speaking and hopefully uh, enlightening a, a young recent graduate of UL. Mm -hmm. And uh, she seems, uh, she's got bright eyes. She'll, I think she'll do I, well. I think she'll do well. Enough said on that. Uh, Adrian, uh, good luck to you and uh, your endeavors. And I think if I instilled anything and, and it looks like she caught on to that right away, there's two words that really can play a big part in your success, and that's the success of life, not just sales, and that's hard work at whatever you're doing. Right. At Absolutely. any time of your life. Uh, and uh, you need to well, get some... Well, speaking of hard work, uh, there's nobody working harder at all your storage needs than Dixie Storage, and we have a picture that goes along with that and there she is and right there that's miss bridget miss bridget uh, mccormick uh, doucette uh, joy doucette you know we're always talking about joy doucette uh, the general manager and uh, part owner of course of uh, dixie storage uh this is his wife uh, bridget bridget was uh, in uh, Vicky's uh, office in uh, Marksville yeah, uh, okay. securing a permit uh, to build uh, uh, possibly a camp or I think it was a camp. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure it's a camp. And uh, she was having a good conversation, and Vicky took a good picture of her. And here she is uh, getting the permits, and uh, uh, hopefully uh, I'll get invited. If it's a camp, I hope I'll get to <laughs> get, get invited. Might bring a little gift with that's me. That's right. That's right. But, uh, but thank you, Bridge. Dixie Storage for all your storage needs. Uh, they're located in Port Barry. They're also located in Opelousas and Washington. Storage for anything you can store, a boat, RV, just some stuff from the house, whatever you need. They've got any size storage facility that you would need. Well lit, very well secured, rail spur access. Commercial. Uh, commercial storage. Uh, storage, anything you would nothing need else like it uh, yeah. in a three or four parish area. Very, very impressive setup. So go see them in Port Barry, Opelousas, or Washington. And don't forget about their sister company, that's A Plus Glass. And let's also talk about the LHC Group. Um, Keith and Ginger Myers oh, have done a wonderful job with the Louisiana Healthcare Group. Their motto right. is, it's all about helping people. And, you know, they, they've got their hands in, in hospice, in uh, placing nurses in all kinds of uh, healthcare roles. Uh, palliative care. They just opened up on Heather Drive right next to the health club, right next to their their health club, uh, Louisiana Hospice and, and Palliative Care, right uh, right next to them. Uh, they have a huge office in uh, Lafayette here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the home office for them. Yep. And uh, quite a substantial office uh, in Opelousas now, and so we're glad to have that. But uh, uh, Lafayette, they're, they're, they're a big player in the Lafayette market. Uh, yes. And uh, we want to thank them for doing so much for the communities wherever they may uh, do business. Absolutely. Now, let's get back into a few more pictures because you have quite a bit that you took over the Mardi Gras, yeah, Mardi Gras th break here. Yeah, this every year uh, we take up most of the, the uh, program uh, showing you pictures and uh, uh, I went to Mamu uh, this uh, year on uh, Thursday afternoon and uh, stayed there till <laughs> last night, uh, left there at about six o'clock last night. They were, the, the riders had just come in from their long run. But uh, this was a Saturday picture, and uh, this is Sammy Coon, and of course- And uh, his boots. And his boots. He, he dresses up, it's the same outfit, but there's additional pins. Every year he I goes around him. and uh, keeps adding pins and pins, and uh, just a, a real nice guy uh, comes in, and of course we'll show you some pictures later where he came in uh, Sunday afternoon, and uh, 
brought his family for sandwiches, barbecue sandwiches. What's that? And, Is that a UFO? Uh, yeah, how about that? A drone. Uh, we, we talk about drones. The government has just come out with some uh, drone rules. Uh, yep. uh, and uh, you're talking about buying you one, so make sure you find out what uh, the heights are. I know oh, it's, yeah. they don't want anybody, what, over 500 feet. 400 feet is actually the ceiling. That, that's mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. Okay. There's a and lot of rules. For a lot these of things. rules, and, and, and they need to be because they could be sure. very, very dangerous. Sure. But a lot of fun also, and yours is going to be for fun, right? That's right. And you know you're from Mamu Win, and we're not, we don't have time, but you can look it up on the photo gallery. All these Keep pictures sure. are on the photo gallery, by the way. And uh, two uh, regulars uh, to the Mamu at some time or another is uh, Judge uh, Jim Darty from uh, Opelousas, 27th Judicial District, and uh, Pat Morrow, uh, attorney in uh, Opelousas, and uh, just, uh, just a fun-filled guy. Uh, they uh, they enjoy life and, yeah. and at the same time is a hard hard dedicated worker That's and right. very That's generous right. person to the community and uh, to his friends. Oh, and there he uh, is. this is uh, our uh, my ex mm. uh, sidekick, Mr. Andrew Gitros, uh, at work at his new job at Kerrville Toyota, I forty nine south of Opelousas. Good morning, Andrew. And uh, this young lady, I was wondering. Uh, if we're going to get her, uh, is Vicki Dupre. She lives in Prairie Roan, Louisiana. How about that? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, did an excellent job. And we were there two nights in a row. We were there uh, Friday night and then went back uh, Saturday night. And uh, this is the Saturday night she's waiting on us. And then I've got a picture of a young lady here. Uh, Let's see. I, I I might not be able to find it. Uh, kind of showing these as he's looking. Yeah, at yeah. Uh, now she's a waitress, okay. and they were having a uh, what what the what the schools have? What kind of a party? They big party? A fundraiser? Or? No, 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 no. They dressed in white. Oh, uh, 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 like prom? Or yeah, prom, prom, prom. Oh, prom see, on yep, Mardi Gras. Prom. Well, th that was before Mardi Gras. Oh, okay. That okay. was Friday night. Saturday, no, that was Saturday night. Friday night, she was a waitress there at the Crawfish Barn is where I'm mm -hmm. talking about. Now, this is the manager here, uh, Miss Terry. And uh, Miss Terry is everywhere in that place. I'm telling you, I had a hard time stopping her long enough to get a picture and a little bit about her. And the owner who was working, I think, in the kitchen at the time uh, is uh, Kelly Joe. And uh, she's about 26 years old. Can you imagine? Uh, nice. One or two other uh, members of the families had uh, opened it and uh, had done apparently pretty well. And uh, but it was not maybe that thing. I don't know the details on it. But I'm just going to say it. It ended up being uh, owned and operated now by Kelly Joe, and uh, real, real. Uh, uh, Big, big business. Uh, be ready on big, big nights. Uh, 30, 40 minutes uh, wait, but it's worth the well, wait. If it's and they've got a wait. complete menu. It's not just craw it's called the Crawfish Barn, but they have a complete, long, big uh, well, good. menu. Good. And this Mr. Bart Smith, I understand that uh, he is the owner now of Hotel Hotel Kazan. Kazan. That's correct. Uh, I Bart sure has that. been managing it now for two, maybe three years uh, for the previous owner, uh, Brian Chasson and uh, his wife. And uh, he's all excited about the new undertaking in his own name and, you know, putting his own style into there it. You go. And we want to definitely want to wish him well. And uh, this was that same day, uh, just this was at night. Uh, and in the middle is uh, Warren LaFleur. And I, I learned that Warren has gone to work as a, as a company rep uh, for Access Insurance Company. Uh, he's traveling the state of Louisiana and uh, enjoying it thoroughly. He formerly was the 
branch manager of Dupre Carry Gacho in Ville Platte, where he hails from. Tell Mr. John hello for me, his father. Nice, nice people. That is me in, the, in my uh, robe and my pajamas <laughs> I'd gone across the street to get me a newspaper. Uh, and I'm talking with the new police chief there. I've got a better picture of him later. I saw him quite a bit yesterday. Uh, there you go. You're going to get your paper. I'm going to get my <laughs> newspaper. Across the street, go and get that advocate, got to get it. And then uh, Sunday, uh, Vicki wanted to take a ride. And I, she said, I want to go to some place I haven't been. I said, well, uh, just sit down. I'm not going to tell you where we're going. We're just going to go. I'm not so we sure myself that. where we're going to go. <laughs> and uh, this is a, a gas produced. This looks like a gas uh, gathering a facility, mm -hmm. quite a, a, a an expensive, a lot of money has been uh, set up right here. Nice. These turbines are, are, are not, there's not no giveaways no. and a lot of high tech uh, engineering going in. There's a lot, a lot of good well, uh, good wells in that Redale section. Now that yeah. looks real familiar to me. Uh, that's that's got the to Oberlin, be. Oberlin Courthouse. Is it? Yep. That's the county seat. Mm -hmm. Well, of course it's not county and here it's a parish seat. And uh, look at this West sign here, House sitting Appliance. on a closed down bill. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'd like to know how many times they've been offered to, to buy yeah, that sign. It's a piece, of history, it's right a piece of history right there. That sure uh, is. And, and then that, this is at the, the little Walmart store, uh, market, Walmart, Walmart uh, market. market. And uh, this is, he comes, this young man walks up to him and he says, uh, aren't you Bobby Dupre with the TV program? I said, I sure <laughs> am. So I snapped this picture, uh, Charles Davis. And he, of course, I think he's originally from Mopalooses, but he hails from the Mamu area now. And very personable young man. Enjoyed your visit. And uh, this is uh, Mardi Gras morning. Uh, that was uh, yesterday, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And uh, this little lady here, I think, was with one of the TV stations out of uh, Lafayette, uh, Channel 10, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. News. And uh, you're going to see a little bit of dressed all kind of... Look, this horse is hungry, trying to get that little piece of grass <laughs> in, in that concrete uh, uh, slither there. <laughs> Uh, now this one here was... Uh, he this was horse smarter. was pretty smart. <laughs> he went where the green grass was. Yep. And uh, we'll go through these real yeah, quick, and I'll be talking about it. Uh, this is a, a tradition. Uh, they start out early, early, uh, uh, 7 o'clock. They're organizing. They try to leave out by 8 o'clock. Uh, I didn't see my Mr. Uh, Doge this year. He and his wife had come by. They started this business uh, a couple of years ago. This is, i got to stop and talk okay. on this ball. This ball here is Dion Longclaw. He says, uh, I know you knew my uncle, my uncle who was my parent. I think he worked for you, Mr. Bobby. I said, who's your, who's your parent? He said, George Lee Longclaw. I said, oh, Lordy, yes, sir. He sure did work for me a number of years. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we were friends from, we were raised a few blocks apart uh, in Opelousas. And uh, then uh, he says, I said, who's your daddy? You know how this cool question, the Cajuns mm -hmm. always wonder who's your oh, daddy. Yeah. He says, well, my daddy was uh, Raymond. I said, okay. And, uh, and I said, y'all had another, br uh, you had another uncle. He said, Francis. And all three of those long clothes died at a relatively young age. All three are dead now. But look at a smile on this young fella oh, yeah. here. He works uh, with uh, Doug Ashey uh, in uh, Ville Platte. And uh, of course, the, the Ashey family, I've been knowing them for a long time. Uh, very successful, very good company to work for. Mm -hmm. You can tell he's happy to say who he worked for. Right, right. And uh, thank you so much for talking to me, and I enjoyed my visit very much. And one other person I saw, we'll just leave that right there, just okay. like, just put it on the side, like that. Yeah, like that. Uh, coming out of church, uh, we made mass, a 4 p.m. mass at uh, St. Anne's mm -hmm. uh, in Mamu Saturday afternoon. And coming out, I thought I had recognized him. And sure enough, uh, the, friendly, the friendly guy he is, Peter Smith, uh, came up and started talking to us. And I had talked about uh, the Savoy Medical Clinic there, the hospital, and at one mm -hmm. time how large it was sure. and all. And uh, that was his father, uh, Frank, Frank. Savoy. 
And uh, I met Frank a few times. Peter's an attorney mm -hmm. and uh, does attorney work out of his office. His main occupation is he's the manager of the Church Point right. Hospital, That's Acadia a Church Point mm -hmm. Hospital. Very nice fella. Thank you so much for visiting with me and, and enlightening me on a few things there. I'll tell you what, before we do talk about this picture that's up we, in the corner, because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little, uh, my interest is peaked there. So uh, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll catch up on some more pictures and get you guys more of the Mardi Gras activities that you mm -hmm. saw down there. Mm -hmm. Don't go nowhere, I'll be right back. Welcome back to the Bobby Dupre Show, along with my sidekick here, Mr. Matt LeBlanc. And uh, we have a lot of pictures, very unusual amount, uh, over 200 pictures. So it'll uh, probably be best if you went to the... The Facebook site. Mm -hmm. Facebook site? Uh, if, you go to, if you go to Facebook and look up KDCG, you're going to see a whole bunch of Bobby's pictures. I also post them right after the show here. So even before the show airs tomorrow morning, which is... Thursday morning it airs right now. The pictures have already been posted to Facebook. So go on there and tag people you know. You're going to see a whole bunch of people you know. Uh, everybody uses Facebook now and it's it's easy. And we're not going to get to talk about way. everybody's picture. I, I'm, I apologize. I probably took too many pictures. But <laughs> what the devil. I was having fun too. That's now, right. don't That's don't right. don't take it that I didn't want to show your picture. I I took your picture and I enjoyed taking your picture and the conversation we had about the pictures. Very good, very good. Let's move on. Let's talk about a couple sponsors right here. We've got Carl's Thrifty Way. We want to definitely want to mention Carl's Thrifty Way. Uh, all your pharmaceutical needs, uh, the staff down at Carl's Thrifty Way is very friendly, very able to help you, and it, it's just it's, it's a nice experience going down to get a prescription filled. While you're there, make sure you check out the gift shop. Uh, everything from flowers, jewelry, home decor, uh, they even have uh, purses and handbags and, and even a few clothing items there last time I saw. Uh, it's just, just a really neat place and, and, and it's great to get you gifts and you get them gift wrapped there as well. And if you notice right here on the desktop right here, we got some seasoning that was sent to us by Miss... Miss Loretta, and she called me last week and she says, you know, I want to send you some seasoning. I want you to taste it. And, and uh, she says, I'm going to send you and Bobby some seasoning. I want you to taste it. This is L.A. Hunter's Choice Seasoning. And it's pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I... You just tested I it. I just tested it, yeah. Yep. I try out a lot of different seasonings. I do like this one. But look for it. She's in a lot of the grocery stores around this area. It's got a, a very unique label on it. It's a lot, a lot of camouflage. There's some deer and ducks and... What she's done that's really nice is she's included some safety tips for hunters right there on the, uh, on the label. So uh, it, it's really good. She's got a prayer for hunters also and a duck gumbo recipe right there on the label. So, so all of that and, and then you ask the magic question, who packages it for that's you? That's exactly right. Who packaged this? And I, I asked her right out the gate, well, who packages it for you? She said, well, Targill. Right there in Opelousas. Targill does another all example the of and look you can see you can see the product and I'll tell you that the seasoning blend is really good but you can see the product look how good that looks you know everything she's got prayers on it she's got a psalm on her on her state's logo uh, she's Pretty got amazing. a recipe and then she's got the nutrition prayer, facts like you have to facts, have everything yeah this is great Targill has done a wonderful job with this and I must say that it's a very impressive seasoning blend so look for it in your local grocery store Okay, and we have... Uh, yep, let's get back to a couple of pictures right here. Um, let's get rid of that right there. And we're going to come back in on... I was curious. I still want to know what this is because you had a picture you told me to, to kind of park on or to pause on. There it is right here. What the heck is that? Okay, uh, that is the siren for the city. That, uh, I think, at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I know at noon, uh, it goes off, and it's right in the back of my little office <laughs> building, and which uh, also houses the Mamu Hilton. 
uh, apartments there. And uh, I might add, uh, it wakes everybody up in the town, and at noon it know, it'll let you know if your stomach has been growling. Well, it should be, it's noon time. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's see, the barbecuing barbecue back there. The, 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 I think I have a, oh, I, there's there my is. brother. That's, his name, he calls himself De Quincey. I said, that's your name? He said, that's my name, Mr. Bobby. And uh, he's cooking there, and a real nice guy, in fact, he and a few of his friends came over and got some uh, barbecue sandwiches uh -huh. uh, late uh, on Mardi Gras day. And uh, there's my head cook. Uh, he was going to go back to Opelousas, and I, I must have really made him feel that he was letting me down. Because when I got back from uh, grocery shopping and picking up the little last-minute odds and ends you always need at a uh -huh. party, uh, Malcolm was there uh, lighting up the pit and uh, getting it all going. And we even had hamburgers this That's year. Never a dull moment. No, nope, no, nope, never a dull moment. And uh, uh, this is a family that I met uh, <laughs> downtown in Mamou, and of course that's the Matt LeBlanc, that's my right. sidekick. Ran uh, into you yesterday. Yes, sir. And you want to introduce your uh, uh, sure. wife? That's, uh, that's my lovely wife Holly, right in the middle there, and she's got her arm around my youngest daughter Lindy. And over on the right side of the screen is my oldest daughter, Darian, and I might add, she is the reigning Queen Camellia the 69th. Oh, and I was year. able to kind of give her a little hug for yeah, that. You right. bet. That's Beautiful right. young couple. Beautiful young family. And uh, this is uh, Lil Lilia. That, that's Lilia. a French, Lilia. <laughs> and, uh, and that's uh, Vicky's uh, good, good buddy. Uh, she's from Mamou originally, but uh, married Mike, and they live in uh, the uh, Bordelonville uh, area there. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a young lady that uh, showed up uh, oh, kind of late in the afternoon. Uh, her daddy, Rusty Lemoyne, uh, is good, good friends uh, with uh, Vicky. Uh, he lives, I think it's Mansura. Well, with a name like Lemoyne, it's got to be around that area. It's got to be a Voiles. And her name is uh, Marie Claire. And uh, she is a very beautiful young girl, but seems to be very talented, very ambitious, mm -hmm. and uh, has worked on quite a number of uh, important uh, jobs. Uh, she does promotion work, uh, and uh, she speaks at various uh, conventions and all, travels a lot, and uh, her uh, young boyfriend, uh, I think, do we have another picture of her? I uh, don't think so. With her daddy? Uh, it may be, maybe a little further down the list, right? I can only see a few oh, of them okay. at a time. Her boyfriend's name is William, and uh, real, real nice. Thank you all for visiting, and one day I might just ask her to come on this program and give the young people in the area a uh, uh, a little bit of information on where she started and where mm -hmm. she is in life today. It appears that she, that's correct, a little motivational talk there you go. Uh, of, of somebody from our area sure. that has done very, very sure. well. There's a couple of sunset pictures here from, I guess that's from I was Mamu, coming, huh? Yeah, I was coming uh, back last night that's and there's pretty. the crawfish uh, traps in, they, they raised some crawfishes, oh, yeah. crawfish in Evangeline Parish. Oh, we got a, Parish, a really pretty sunset you. coming up. I saw it myself last night and it was beautiful. And uh, this is uh, annually, uh, this Look particular person climbs <laughs> in the tree, uh, and that's before they start the run uh, right across from my little apartment there. And this is Church Point uh, on Sunday. Church Point has their pr uh, parade and Mardi Gras on Sunday, and it's a fun field. I used to go there before I started going and had my Mamu Hilton built. That's where my son went. Tradition at the heart. Riders, like chickens, and plenty of drink at Church Point Courier. Sure thing. Courier. And, and uh, this is a Valentine gift from yours truly to Miss Vicky, and she brought it, and that's her office there. And uh, well, that's nice. She's laying it there till uh, a later date. She'll bring it, uh, bring it home. Mm -hmm. It's live plants uh, bought at Wanda's uh, in uh, Opelousas. Well, there you go. And we talked about the previous owner of the Hotel Kazan. Mm -hmm. Well, Blaine and his wife, Tiffany uh, Zerang uh, Chasson, uh, they own uh, Wanda's. Really? In, yeah, that's okay. correct. Well, look at this, this. This is that sunset I was telling you about that you, I saw last you night. You saw it. Now, did, Vicky yeah. took this. She stopped on the side of the road going home Beautiful. to take the very 
I always say that there's no two sunset alike. Well, this one is totally different. Yep. I mean, I, yeah, I don't know beautiful. that I've ever seen one like this uh, myself. I didn't <coughs> see this ye uh, yesterday. I missed that. And uh, this is Miss Shirley a couple of more shots uh, Perron here. helping out. Uh, and uh, there's uh, Rusty, the, the father of oh, that, yeah. so we did have Marie Claire. Shot. Yeah. And, and that's her, her boyfriend, uh, William. Uh-huh. Just a couple of more street shots from Mamu here. Some that was, that was in the morning. Doors. And I didn't get any in the afternoon. I'm sorry. I apologize. I usually... <coughs> Stay, but I, I, I was worn out. Uh, I was tired and, and well, need to get home and, and, you. and work on this program here. Uh, I worked on here till about 11 last night, and I won't use much of it because the pictures took care of most of the program. Yeah, a lot to see. I, you know, I was there yesterday, and, and what I liked about it, it's just, it's just a traditional Cajun. Vicky drops. picking up beads after they had passed. That's the easy way. And then we put them on the ledge in the front <laughs> front window, and yeah. people pick them up during the day, so that everybody gets to. It's used two and three times. There you go. There's some riders. Yep, that's in the morning. I and this lady here afternoon. was from uh, New Mexico. She <coughs> visiting friends in Chitania. I said, what, what's that? She started laughing. She said, I can't pronounce it. Can I? I said, no, it's Chitania. <laughs> and uh, this is the former chief uh, of go. police here, uh, Greg uh, Dupuy and his wife, Carla. Uh, Carla is a secretary for, uh, I call him a senator, but he's actually uh, an appellate court judge. Uh, and I'm speaking of uh, John Saunders. And, uh, of course, uh, Greg uh, has an offshore job, security work. He's in charge of a, a, a staff on one of these uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. And uh, also uh, excited about uh, now is the owner of the Dupuy Insurance Agency of oh. Mamu. His father, Jake, started that back in the time, about the same time I started sure. uh, the Bobby Dupre Insurance Agency, which later evolved into the Dupre Carrier Gotcha. But... Uh, Jake and everybody. Then I got another picture of the new chief, Let's Robert. See in there? No, 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 no. Let's see. no. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, well, no, we showed that earlier. Well, we showed yeah, that we earlier. Showed that. Robert, yeah, uh, yeah Robert M uh, McGee. You were talking to yeah, him. Yeah, I was talking. Well, and you know what? We, we do have to take a quick break right here so we can come back and finish this out for you. That's Lilia and Mike and uh, uh -huh. Vicky. I'll show you that real quick. Yep, and yep. And, of course, uh, Lilia, Lilia is a state employee, had a real nice job with the state. And uh, Big Mike, I'm not sure what he's doing these days, but uh, uh, they love to have fun. I, I can tell you that's one thing <laughs> they do every day, enjoy themselves. That's what it's about. Well, stick around, folks. We're going to be right back. We've got just another couple of minutes to go, and uh, we'll see you after one minute. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show, and we're going to kind of be cheating you on you. It won't be quite a, a usual a long quarter. It's only about nine and a half minutes left uh, on the program. But uh, anyhow, we've got a few more pictures, and I want to mention that I also met uh, Blaine Mott, retired state trooper, friend of mine for many, many years, uh, who was uh, at the, the Crawfish Barn, uh, and that was on the, the Saturday night uh, function that I was there. I'm pretty sure it was the Saturday night. And so I gotta say, I was, looking I was looking over at your notes earlier, and you got Blaine Mott written right there, but you, you know, your, your cursive writing, I thought that said Blaine Matt. So I don't know what you were going to blame me for, but I thought you left yourself a note to blame me for something. No, 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 no. I can't blame you. I was you. waiting to hear it. I can't blame you in the open. I might. Yeah, right. I might Got to uh, wait till, yeah, till later quarters. Later. That. That's right. That's right. Well, speaking of quarters, yep. let's talk about Quarters Casino and a restaurant, the Travel Plaza down there. Uh, if you're on the north side of Opelousas, stop by Quarters Casino and Travel Plaza. Make sure you check out all the slot machines. Try your luck. There's plenty to choose from, uh, the video poker slot machines. And they've got a nice little convenience store there, also a Subway. And the crown jewel of it all is the El Pico de Gallo restaurant. Um, great, great authentic Mexican food. Uh, got good Chevron fuel down there. Very well lit plaza, very safe. It's uh, it, it's everything you can ask for in a travel plaza. Yep. It's right there north of Opelousas. Says it all. That's right. 
Pat See? Willis is the manager, and you know, kind of like what uh, Robert uh, uh, Cook uh, says for Sterling Automotive Group. Uh, uh, I know you work with uh, Robert on oh, those ads, and he says if uh, your service is not up to what you expect it to be, I want to know he about it. Know. And uh, same thing goes with uh, the Travel Plaza, the quarters. Uh, if you have a problem, I know Pat Willis, the general manager and, and owner, uh, would like to hear from you. Absolutely. And let's also talk about St. Landry Homestead locations, Opelousas, Fort Barry, Eunice, and, uh, you know, just go to their website, www.stlandryhomestead.com and see all of the electronic banking available options for you. It's, it's, there's a lot. What were you going to say? Uh, I want to go over there and visit their new office on uh, the east end of uh, Eunice now. Yeah. Uh, real, real nice looking. I, I saw it passing by, going and coming back uh, to Mamu. I use that route. Uh, it's a little straighter and uh, a little bit wider roads and all for <coughs> particularly those particular days uh, where there's a little bit of drinking going on. But uh, I, I definitely want to go by there. And talking about that, uh, the uh, location that I had for Unis Auto Sales is up for uh, sale. I want to sell that piece of property. It's listed with uh, Century 21 of Unis and, of course, in Opelousas. And I'm a, one of the part owners of that particular business. Uh, I never talk about it, but we've got a good, good staff, both uh, Unis and Opelousas. If you'd like to list or you want to do some shopping, we don't have the listing, but we all work together. So if you will go to either one of those offices, I can assure you, you're going to have good prompt service seven days a week. And uh, I might add uh, over on uh, the car lot now, what uh, Opelousas Auto Sales is located, we've got a couple of good, good uh, used Mercury's. We have one of them with 55,000 wow. miles. I think it was a one owner car. The ashtray had, has never been used. No signs have ever been used. The inside is immaculate. It's a reasonable price. And uh, just uh, tell them that you heard about it on the Bobby Dupre Show, and I'll give you another little uh, discount on top of go. the discount that they're going to give you when you go in to look for the cars. They got Can't two of them like that. that. One of them I think has about 65,000 uh, or so miles, a little bit higher mileage, but excellent condition again. Oh, so the good. neat, neat cars uh, still has a lot, a lot of mileage left in them. Pre-used, but not abused. <laughs> Let's go. We got a couple of pictures left to show you guys, and there is. Let's see. Let me scroll down to it right here. There we go. We've got this cute kid here. Oh yes, yes. This was a little group that came in uh, Those with uh, us. Yeah. Yep, the two <laughs> at the bottom and a young lady at the top. Uh, they were part of the Sammy Coons group. Uh, Sammy and his wife Darlene came in, and we've got a picture of the whole group. Uh, yeah, right here, right next to that. There you go, right there. That's a good, good picture. And uh, yours truly is in there with them. And uh, Sammy, of course, is on the left uh, uh, with uh, his uh, attire. It, 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 well, he I'll has, tell you, he was noticeable oh, yesterday. Oh, he, he's always, every year, he just keeps adding more and more little TikToks mm -hmm. uh, to it. But uh, thank you, Sammy, for coming and enjoying the, the steak sandwiches uh, that we had made up. And uh, we love to have you and love to have all of you. Stop by, even if you're not hungry, just stop by and say hello and uh, maybe get a cold beer. Or might need to use the bathroom or something like that. We got that available at no charge. All of it, no charge. The food, the beer, everything is free. Oh, and uh, there's Darlene sure. right there. And uh -huh. there's Miss Shirley. And of course, Miss Shirley Perron lives uh, in uh, Mamou. And you see my, uh, my flag in the back? Well, uh, my, back to it. Yeah, there, uh, right there. Si Sibamore Sippers. The That's Sippers. our Mardi Gras crew <laughs> of. And uh, we have a crew, but it's a CREW, a working crew at my place. I, I got I to gotta get that in some kind of way. I got to work that in because she's part of the crew, all right, but it's not a Mardi Gras crew. It's a working crew at the Mardi Gras. How about it? We'll, we'll end it up. And a picture of a person that I couldn't say that I knew him very well, but 
several people mentioned his death, and that's Mr. John Gilderay. And uh, he was uh, around uh, 74 years old, all my age. I, I, I know I recognize the face, but uh, anyhow, to his family and friends, my very deepest of sympathies. And I had one more, and uh, that's the death of uh, Brian, uh, better known as Reggie Bazet. And of course, uh, when, it, when I saw Bazet, I said, Wait, I wrong. know one, one be Bazet that I know of is Ron mm -hmm. Bazet. Sure enough, he's listed as a brother, and Ron and his wife, of course, Miss Gloria uh, of Opelousas. Uh, I know Ron, I met him, I guess, through politics, and he loves politics, yes, like, like yes, yours truly uh, loves it too. Passionate about it. Yes, sir. And uh, I talked about the drones, and uh, uh -huh. Walmart is selling uh, fresh boiled, the whole, the, the, the heads, uh, the tail, the whole, uh, the whole, they boil them and they sell them just like that. Really? And uh, you know where they, uh, they, they're not uh, buying from Chinese and uh, the Japanese, they buying from uh, Mr. Guillory uh, over at, uh, in Eunice, Louisiana. Uh, golly, I know that uh, it's right on the road there. Uh, anyhow, uh, they're shipping these. They're now in 988 of their stores in, wow. in the United States are using crawfish locally produced and locally purchased and processed and then shipped over to the Walmart distribution centers throughout the United States. Wow. So that's just show you that, uh, you know, you hear Walmart does this, they do, well, they also try to buy as much as they can yeah. local. Yeah. And this is certainly one that helps uh, Acadiana because uh, Evangeline Parish and all, and you telling me it's about that time. Close to it, we got about a minute left. <clears throat> about a minute. I, I hope we didn't bore you with our pictures today. Y'all y'all always comment every year that they're good. Y'all you know, know I'm there and you know what I'm doing. I'm trying to build up the program and. Mm -hmm and showing people uh, maybe for the first time and the only sure. time they'll ever be on the program, but uh, they've been on it today. And uh, we like to close the program. Uh, Matt and I ask you to consider attending the church of your choice this weekend. And we leave you with this little thought. Uh, some people call it a prayer. Loving Savior, pour your love into my heart. Make me ready and willing to give myself to others as you have given yourself for me. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for your assistance and enjoy your day.